good afternoon 2020 Las Vegas Nevada I mean even with this the, the the breeze and the wind blowing it's just gorgeous out here you know I talk to people all the time that come from different places they love it out here in Las Vegas uh, this is home for me so you know I feel the same way I want to jump right into what I'm uh, I want to talk about today gonna be a pretty deep one because it has a lot of it's gonna touch a lot of people um, porn men hey porn man hey us men we have a, a hard we have a bad they not all men when i speak i don't know i never speak about everyone the only one i speak about is the people that i know that has this problem you know why because if i speak about some either i've been through it or know somebody that has okay men porn man is that a good thing let me think man you know let me start back from my generation you know Unfortunately, you know, I'm uh, not unfortunately that I'm 45, <laughs> thankful that I'm 45, right? But you know, in my generation, in other generation before I'm speaking about mine, young kids grew up seeing porn magazines maybe around their house from their fathers, their uncles, or different people that maybe went over their house. I remember a time where magazines as far as Playboy and Penthouse was not, it was almost like a regular magazine. It wouldn't land around people's homes, but usually you find them in the bathroom or people had a, men <laughs> had a, a older, your uncles, y'all remember that? I remember saying that, young man. Remember the men know what I'm talking about? Remember finding porn magazines and stuff like this and, uh, you know, your uncles or your father's room uh, when they weren't there, being bad, sneaking around, trying to uh, look for something you shouldn't have been. So, it's pouring bad. Getting to this, I believe in our generation that created a, 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 a want and a need to watch porn. Actually, our generation in the 80s is when porn, as far as you know, production, I believe, I believe that's how it works, uh, became real big through VHS. If I'm not mistaken, I've heard, I've read that or I've heard that somewhere. So it it, it, it kind of started becoming a big industry, not so taboo like it was before. You know, so long story short, our generation, our, now we've grown, we're kind of brought into watching porn, unfortunately, right? Hmm, okay. But we still got to the question, is porn good for you, right? Or it doesn't hurt you as men, right? Because a lot of men don't think there's nothing wrong with watching porn or even being porn stars. <laughs> you feel me? Um... This is my personal opinion about porn. Okay, I have watched porn before. Uh, I'm, I think I'm valid to. Uh, I think I have a, a a stand to be able to speak on this because I'm a man and I have been down this rabbit hole before with this porn stuff. And basically, what it done or has done for me in the past, anytime I've watched porn in any circumstances for anything, one. The first thing it does, if you're married or you have a girl, if you're, you know, you're talking to guys right now, um, eventually what that does is create something in your mind where your woman or your wife, it should be your wife, right? Uh, it creates in your mind where they, sh you, you want, and I don't care what guys say, you watch it long enough. It creates this type of, um, false imagery of you starting to want your wife to do the same things as you've seen in the porn things. So that's the first negative thing because every reality, we all know that that's not your wife or your girlfriend for guys that's not married as experienced as porn. Porn is good if you're married or not. It's not good if you're married or not uh, married, you know? That's number one. Two, what it does it takes away, I believe, and for a man, it takes away the essential, uh, just essence of being a man, man. You know, you start, just like a drug. You start uh, hungering for it. You start uh, searching for it. You start thinking you need it. It's like a cigarette. I smoke cigarettes. It's like, oh, it's porn time. I've been there. <laughs> it's bad, but I've been there. Not on a continual. Some is more than others. Some men have more but all men know what i'm talking about you know you be, you you create a uh appetite for it right 
and and three. It's a lot of them. But I'm just naming three. It really disconnects you from hearing. It, it connects you disconnects you spiritually as a man. It takes all of who you. It just disconnects you. It warps you. It depresses you after a while. You know what I mean? So, in my humble opinion, and I think I got a right to make a humble opinion, you know, getting around Vegas, uh, porn is no good for us, man. You know what I mean? It's no really, uh, it's no good. It does nothing. It takes everything. It takes a, it takes all of everything, y'all. And all the men that watch porn, some men ain't never have done this, so this ain't for you. The men that has, you know what I'm talking about. Eventually, after the, you you start feeling depressed, then you know I'll tell you what trips a lot of people out. Man, this is gonna trip you out. Right after you are in your porn thing, right, <laughs> or in your private time, man, you know what I'm saying. Most of the time, right after you done with whatever you done with in your porn hub moment, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? You instantly feel guilty, man. What am I doing? What is, man? I you know what I'm talking about, right? So, pretty much porn isn't no good, man. I think that this is what we need to start learning how to do as men or people in general. Definitely as men. Man. Not being bond or bounded by anything. Cigarettes, drinking, sex, women. You feel me? Anything. Like I've heard... Um, from 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 uh, a couple people um, say, uh, there's nothing on earth, on this earth, that should be that important to us where we lose who we are, or it changes us as an individual where it just takes us all out of warp and make us do stupid things. It's nothing that important on this earth that should make anyone do that. Nothing, especially no. It, it well, if you're born again Christian, definitely. Right, and I and I, I know people. Some people that's not born again are like, man, why you got? Well, it's not my rules, y'all. It's God rules. I'm just saying, when you're born again, you do have certain benefits and stuff that you don't don't have when you're not born again. I, if I made the rules up, I would tell you why, but I don't. Okay, it's like working at a place, and you you it's a, you gonna have benefits working at a place, and then you just walking in the place just asking for things. You know, you know what I'm saying. You gotta be a part of an organization. You know, I mean, that's just how the world works, right? And I'm sure God ain't no different. That's where we got that from as an organization. Um, it's a family thing, right? But getting back to what I'm doing, I got kind of lost there. Bit. <laughs> Something else. But I'm just trying to get my point across about what I'm saying, man. The porn thing, guys, let's leave that alone. Let's talk about it, man. If we need to, to create dialogue about this, guys, so it can help somebody else out, the people or the men that knows exactly what I'm saying, that, that, that has probably took a damaged their home their life and there's men out there that really it has damaged their life guys you know and they know who i'm talking about losing their family uh their job and it's a demonic spirit man we should not be that addicted to sex that's not hey we're men we're supposed to be stronger than that supposed to have control over that you know, mind over matter. God always should come first, like I always say in every last one of my videos. And if you're not a Christian, you need to adapt that idea. Because you ain't going to get nowhere without it. I'm just keeping it 100. I know I ain't say I ain't preaching and I'm not preaching, but I'm telling the truth. You know, about that. That's just how it is, man. So, fellas, let's talk about it. Create some dialogue, man. Um, this is a touchy subject. This is a men thing. I know a lot of men don't like to talk about it or embarrass and stuff. I've been like that before in my life. But when you overcome things, you're not scared of them uh, any longer. So, uh, man, let's get together. And let's not condemn each other for having uh, uh, down uh, shortcomings for doing this because we're not God. All we're trying to do is edify each other, like I said on, on my first couple videos. I believe that's, that's what we should do as men, especially men, should sharpen men like iron and you know be there for men in a positive way man and let's edify each other man i mean black white mexican whatever color you are it doesn't matter man we're men okay uh, um we're all up under the same umbrella okay 
let's help each other out. Maybe somebody else before us need this. Again, thank you guys for subscribing. The guys, the people that has, I, I'm, I'm, I can't stress that enough on how much that means to me. Because obviously, the people that have been watching my videos know exactly I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> They see how you guys see how amateur I am. I, I stubble. Up. I don't know. I I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm trying to be better every day, and I'm trying to get my message out to you guys on being aware about things. Man, we need to build each other up, and uh, we can do better. Okay, get around Vegas. Uh, hit like if you like. Hit like if you don't like. Um, leave a comment. Get around Vegas. Next video.